So I'll give you two, two definitions of what a smart contract is. And the first one is you can see all over the internet they're referred as apps on the blockchain, which is true. But uh, even more uh, technically, there are just wallets. And there are two types of wallets. The first one uh, in Ethereum and the first one is user wallets. The wallet you have right now, uh, for example, MetaMask. Uh, this is a wallet that you control. And the second type of wallet is uh, this smart contract. It, uh, I'm saying it's a wallet because the smart contracts also have an address where, where the, con the smart contract resides. And, and you can also store money uh, in the smart contract. This is one example of a smart contract and they are written in uh, basically if the blockchain is EVM compatible and EVM stands for Ethereum, Ethereum Virtual Machine. Uh, if the blockchain is EVM compatible, they are written in this programming language called Solidity. It's just an object-oriented programming language. I don't want to go too deep into it. But usually those smart contracts are small apps. Maybe not as small as this contract here that I have written. They're probably somewhere in between the range of 50 to 100 lines of code. And a very, a very unique uh, thing about them is that whenever, whenever you deploy them to the blockchain, they you cannot change them afterwards and this is why it's very important to test them first and test them really well so uh, you make so you want to make sure that there are no bugs because once you deploy them to the blockchain you cannot change them and if there's a possible vulnerability it will be exploited forever if you want to find or recognize a smart contract on a blockchain explorer like Binance Smart Chain. Uh, you can see we have user wallets like this one without this emoji and when you hover over it it says contract so it means this address is a smart contract and this one here is a user, user wallet and if you go up here you can see this is the the pancake swap token and you can see most uh, most of the money of this token like 35% here we have is stored into the main staking contract uh, which is this one um, another thing uh, I should have added actually previously in the beginning is that smart contracts act like contracts in real life because they're just, uh, but instead of paper contracts, they're just code on the blockchain. And they are automatically executed when certain conditions are met. So you have two parties, and uh, let's say you, whenever you actually use a DAX like PancakeSwap to swap some coins, that's uh, one use case for smart contracts. Uh, let's say you want to uh, exchange BNB, one BNB for cake. Whenever you interact, you use basically a smart contract. So let's see what are some of the use cases for smart contracts. The use cases are actually endless. You can do a lot of things with smart contracts. But let's give you a simple example. Let's say these are people and here you have... Oops. And here I'm going to write just one business person. And let's say this business person has an idea, but and needs money to to fund the idea. And all these people believe in the idea that this person has. And the smart contract will help this business person to fund their business idea with the money of these people. So these people will actually put money inside these smart contracts and remember when, uh, when I said these smart contracts are executed when, when certain conditions are met and so you can basically call them up uh, in that way and when whenever let's say these people will come here 
interact with the smart contract, deposit some money, and whenever this uh, smart contract reaches, let's say, a thousand dollars, it will execute and it will give the money to this person over here. This is just one use case. It's very simple. Uh, it's basically crowdfunding, I think it's called. And another use case would be, uh, let's just say you have the smart contract here, and it may act as a lot lottery. So let's say I'm the developer here, and I'll, I'll just put some money inside my smart contract. Let's say a hundred bucks and other people come here and they actually uh, deposit five bucks in order to win this one hundred dollars and you can even I can even myself here profit from this if many people come let's say a hundred people deposit five bucks I will have five hundred bucks so and that's uh, more than I deposit, more than the one hundred dollars I deposited previously. You don't even have to deposit this amount of money. You can just wait for one hundred people to come. This is getting a little off topic, but if if let's say one hundred people come and they just deposit one dollar, uh, let's say one person uh, will take. $80 and $20 goes to me because I want to profit.